Hi Collective and welcome to your Collective Tarot Love Reading. In today's message, we're going to take a look and see what is going on between you and your person. Where is this heading? What is the future of this connection? Do they have feelings for you or not? What is it that you need to know, basically? There's also going to be a part two to this reading and part two will be made available to you via the extension link below. As this is a general reading, please just keep that in mind. For those of you that are after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, so it seems as though the person that you're involved with um, has put up a wall of cool, okay, or will put up a wall of cool. The thing is, um, the cards seem to indicate that there is quite an attrac attraction and quite a connection between you and this person, okay? The Eight of Wands gives us the impression that um, maybe things, you know, started off very quickly between you and your person, okay? For some of you, this could be a love at first sight type of situation. For others of you, you know, um, you, you know, there was just that chemistry, that spark, that instant connection, which cannot be faked, okay? It's either there or it isn't. And for a lot of you, it was just almost instant. This instant connection, this instant attraction. Um, the thing is, to me, it feels like this person that you're involved with has put up a wall, okay, or is going to put up this wall. And I'm going to call it the wall of cool because the reason why they're putting up this wall is they're going to... You know, although the attraction and the chemistry between the two of you is very palpable and it's, you know, it's quite undeniable, but I feel like this person is scared, okay, to show any signs that they care, okay, that they care about you or that they care about someone in general. And we'll go into, um, we'll go into a little bit more detail about, you know, why is it that they're afraid to do so. But to me, it feels like, you know, the truth is, the simple truth is that, this is someone who is afraid of getting hurt. So, you know, if you're wondering whether or not there's a connection between you, whether or not there is a future, or if there's even an attraction, there is, okay? Because I feel like your intuition, okay, even if though you haven't necessarily received any confirmation from this person about, you know, whether or not, you know, there's a connection or attraction, your intuition seems to confirm it, okay? Um... And yeah, even though this person hasn't, you know, told you so, um, and although they may also be very difficult to read, I feel like a lot of you, you know, intuitively you can feel it. You can feel that there's a connection, you can feel that there's an attraction, even if it's something you guys haven't necessarily spoke about. The thing is, this person that you're involved with, I feel like is, um, see, they've been hurt in the past. Okay, and the Two of Swords is this wall of cool that I see this person putting up around them. So, although the connection and the sparks might have happened very quickly, and the connection was very instant, almost immediate, um, for some of you, just a heads up, because it's going to get to a point where things are going to slow down, okay? That's not because they necessarily want to slow things down with you, but there's a reason behind this. And for others of you, I think maybe you're already in this... Um, situation you're already in this position where you know things were really great you were spending a lot of time together you guys were getting to know each other and things were very smooth um, very effortless and all of a sudden things just kind of came to a bit of a stagnate or a stalemate and this person may have pulled away or this person is not as big you know they're not as communicative maybe this is someone who is essentially you know taking um his or her you know, their time and their space. Um, it's important to give this person time and space. It's also important to give this relation to give this relationship and the connection, the time and space. Okay. Um, it's going to allow your person and yourself as well to get a little bit more comfortable with each other. And it's important that you do. Okay. It's important that you do give each other that time and space and also give each other hints. Like if you can also give him or her little hints and if they can as well in return you know pick up on that and give you little hints just to encourage you know them to show their feelings for you even if it's like very subtle um, and nothing really um, major I think that I see that this person is going to is struggling and 
I think this person is holding back emotionally. It's not that they don't feel close to you, okay? Even if this is just early days, this person does feel a closeness. They definitely, you know, feel a connection or attraction. They definitely feel um, chemistry, okay? They feel that. But I think this person is afraid of what they feel, if that makes sense. Now, for some of you, maybe this is someone you met online or this is someone maybe you've met um overseas maybe whilst you were traveling overseas or maybe this person is a like is a foreigner has uh, was born overseas uh, maybe they were born to parents overseas they may also speak um, one or two languages a few different languages um, they may be a teacher they may do some tutoring here um, they could be learning a different language they could be doing some traveling or they have, they're quite well traveled. Um, maybe this is someone whom you're also in a long distance relationship with, okay? Um, and I think that's very important for, um, for you guys because what happens is this person is, the thing is, this person is scared to show their true, genuine feelings for you, okay? Or they're scared that they're starting to develop true, genuine feelings. It's not that they don't feel, you know, close enough to you. It's just that they're holding back emotionally because they're scared to take the next step. Whether that next step is from, you know, a friendship to the next level, you know, becoming boyfriend and girlfriend, um, you know, whatever the next step is for you, this person is scared, is basically is scared. And they're also scared that they're going to scare you off as well. Just want to see what's in the bottom of the deck. Um, you've also got the Wheel of Fortune here, which is, of course, you know, the the destiny, the fate, tarot card um, out of the whole deck. There is something very special about this person, okay? Um, there is something very special about the connection that you share. But I do, yeah, you've got, you know, you've got the Strength card, you've got the star, the two of cups. This is a strong, this is giving off a strong energy, a very strong vibe of this being a soulmate connection. But the problem is this person isn't sure what they feel. They're kind of confused about what they feel, okay? It could be that they've never felt um, such emotions before. It could be that these emotions feel very foreign to them, okay? Um, and if this person has backed away or is slowly backing away, I think you have to allow, or even if it's you, right? Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one that's backing away or distancing yourself from someone. And maybe you're confused. You're not really sure why you're doing that because you like this person. You're romantically interested in them. You're attracted to them. You can feel and sense the chemistry. Um, but maybe you just want some time to figure out, you know, what you really want. Um, don't push it, okay, whether it's you the one that's doing the figuring out or whether it's your person, don't push it, wait until you know, um, until, you know, you're ready to, to let yourself know what you feel or wait until, you know, your person is ready to know how they feel, okay. Um, the other thing is don't be afraid to let your person know how you feel, okay. Um, I think everyone appreciates someone who's, you know, very upfront, um, about, you know, about their feelings and just a fun in general. The thing is, eventually when this person does come up, uh, does, does talk to you, okay, when their wall of cool suddenly collapses, you'll be very surprised at just how communicative, how expressive and how strong this, um, their feelings for you will be when they're finally ready to express them, okay? Why? Because... I did say, you know, there's this strong energy, this strong indication of this being a very special connection, of this being, a, um, you know, a soulmate connection. And maybe I think that's part of the, um, I think that's part of the struggle. You know, this person is trying to figure out what's happening to them, okay, what's happening to their feelings. So they're trying to sort out their emotions. Um, this person is scared to get emotionally attached. They don't know right now, they don't know if you are the right person for them, okay? Um, they are also afraid to show their feelings because they feel as though it might be a little bit too early to show their feelings. Um, I think this person becomes attached very quickly and I think in the past, um, 
what happened is, you know, they've been burnt in the past and they don't want, the, you know, they don't want to get hurt. So they try to push their emotions, you know, deep down inside or they try to push their emotions away. So just, just in case things don't work out with you guys, okay? Um, I think what, you know, it, it's important for you guys just to take your time, take your time to get to know each other. Um, you know, it, it's... This person is going to be more willing to show their emotions and their feelings if they don't feel so pressured, they don't feel so forced, or, you know, if they're not so nervous about it, okay? Um, I think this person is intimidated by you. I think this person finds you beautiful. I feel like they find you someone who's very attractive, very strong, confident, intelligent, even if you don't necessarily think so. Um, you know, this is how your person sees you. Um, he, he or she finds you very appealing. They think that you're a catch and deep down inside, they just think that you might be too good for them. There's also something about you, uh, you being out of their league or, um, they may not be able to keep up with your standards or your lifestyle. I, I don't know, for some of you, maybe if you're like really athletic and if you hit the gym or, you know, if you're really, if you're someone who look, looks um, looks after themselves, there's something about this person not being able to keep up with your lifestyle or your standards. Um, this person eventually will grow to trust you. Okay, so if you're wondering where things are going to come, uh, you know where things are going and um, you know when the when contact or communication will open up um, give them a chance to figure things out but eventually this person is going to just be patient because they will grow to trust you and open up with you um, he or she may not necessarily know what they want okay um, don't rush into anything do not rush into anything right now. Um, to me, it does feel like this person is hiding their true feelings for, from you. To me, I feel like this is your soulmate, guys. I, I feel like this just could very well be a soulmate connection, a soulmate relationship. This is someone whom you feel very deeply connected to, right? And this person feels very deeply connected to you as well in a very um, powerful way. Um, I'm getting a lot of travel here. And you've also got like the world card here as well. I don't know if that's in frame. Um, I'm getting a lot of travel. And... What comes to mind is like your soulmate is basically a you know a fellow traveler on your journey and we spoke earlier about the wheel of fortune and that you know something about this feels like it's fated something about feels like it's it's destiny you basically need one another to grow um you know beyond your individual self to grow beyond and push past your limitations um And I think this person is here to help you do that. I honestly feel like they're here to help you reach your truest potential and you're here to do the same for them. This is why it's so important that you give this connection the time and the space that it needs because this could be, like, why would you want to waste a good thing, okay? Just because you might get a little bit frustrated or you might get a little bit impatient, you know, with the fact that this person is, you know, putting up this wall of cool or, you know, they're backing away or... Or even if it's you, you know, if it's you suddenly getting cold feet or putting up this wall of cool, um, give it time, give it space. You know, don't run away from this. Not just yet. Um, everything in life is about timing, right? Um, and I think the thing is, the reason why you've met this person right now and not a second earlier or later is because you're open whether you knew it or not, you were open to the possibility of meeting your soulmate. You were open to the possibility of connecting with someone. So this explains why, you know, you've crossed paths with this person now. There's quite a lot of fire in the energies as well. So 
there's a lot of passion that I feel like is being ignited between the both of you, okay? Um, but it's not the type of passion that, you know, is going to burn hot and then suddenly going to extinguish. It's not that. It's a type of, it's like these flames of love that are going to burn continuously. And the thing is, if indeed you are soulmates, you're both going to be committed to keep that fire going, okay, throughout your journey together. This person feels like a soul partner. For some of you, maybe this is someone whom you have crossed paths with in the past because it's just something about them that feels very uniquely familiar. And, um, you know, maybe you haven't seen this person in years or, you know, you haven't um, connected with them in years, but all of a sudden you're reunited and it just feels like, you know, time and separation have had, you know, no bearing on this connection whatsoever. I do think that, I think what you're really struggling with in this connection is you know, being emotionally open with yourselves, with each other, like with one another and with yourselves as well. Okay, but there is this deep law of attraction that I think has pulled the both of you together, but that attraction is not enough to make this, you know, to keep this fire going. Um, and I think this is where the, your relationship, your connection with this person really struggles is that, um, you know, that communication, that openness, that vulnerability. And it's why time is so important here. Okay, you must work at, you know, being loving, you must work at um, receiving love as well. I honestly feel like your person, right now some of you feel a little bit frustrated, right? And I think your person is here to challenge you and to, make, to help you think differently, to, to, to help you grow, to help you push past your comfort zone, right? Um, and this is why these types of, you know, relationships these soulful type of connections are never smooth and never quite peaceful because yes, there are moments of, you know, connection and um, harmony and um, serenity, but for the most part, it's a little bumpy. It's because, you know, this person is here to challenge you. It's to help you. This person is here to help you grow. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. And in part two, we're just going to take a look and see exactly what is the future of this connection, okay? Um, the walls of cool are certainly up with this individual, but we want to see when is it, will they start, you know, lowering their guard? And uh, what will be the fate of this connection, okay? Is this your forever person? Is this going to last? Or is or will this person eventually, you know, pull themselves away entirely, um, will you be giving it space? Will, will you be giving this connection the time and the space that it needs? Will they be giving this connection, you know, the patience, the time and the space that it needs? So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your support to the channel. If you haven't already, please do show your support to the channel by um, subscribing, by hit, um, hitting that subscribe button, guys. It helps the channel to grow and also by liking, sharing. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for your energy and your attention. Um, follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. Bye for now.